we're here at week nine for your Wake Forest Dynasty. And last week we took on Maryland and defeated them for another ACC win. And this week we go to Miami, Florida, to take on the Miami Hurricanes who are sitting at four and two on the season, whereas your Demon Deacons are six and one. And Coach Whitman looks to put another notch in ACC victories. So let's take a look at the standings or stats of the year. Uh, Demon Deacons are twenty, or excuse me, thirty seventh with two hundred forty three passing yards per game and one hundred and six rushing yards per game. And these are your Miami top players: Duke Johnson, seventy nine carries, four hundred fifty five yards, three touchdowns, one hundred sixty seven receiving yards. Henderson, who's going to be solidifying that left tackle spot. And Steve Morris, who is going to become a threat both passing and running. And your Wake Forest Demon Deacon players, 44 receptions for Campanari, 631 yards. Justin Jackson, who has a total of 35 tackles, 8 for a loss, and 2 sacks and 2 interceptions. And A.J. Marshall with 34 tackles on the season. So as you see here, both sidelines are getting ready for this ACC game and they are getting pumped in the stadium in sunny Miami, Florida, Wake Forest versus Miami. And here are the coastal standings. Miami fourth with one and one in the conference. And for your Demon Deacons, they are sitting on the top spot, three and one in conference play, six and one overall. And this is going to be another game in conference play. As you see here, we are at Miami Stadium in Miami, Florida for this game. As you see there, impact player of the game, Josh Harris. And it's going to start out first and ten. Shotgun formation, read option, handoff to Harris, who's going to be getting a couple carries this game. So he brings up second and one. Price drops back, throw, throws left, hits his man Terry wide open on the left side and gets the first down. First and 10, split back set, shotgun formation, play action, and Price goes down on the play, and as you see here, that defensive tackle just pushed through our center and left guard to get the sack. So on third and 17, shotgun formation, Price drops back the throw, sacked on the play again, as you see here, that linebacker just came through unblocked, so it brings up Miami's offense, this Wake Forest defense who's going to try to stop them. So on first and 10, Duke Johnson takes the handoff and stopped hard by Jackson for a one-yard loss. Second and 11, shotgun formation, Walford in motion. Moore steps up, tries to get away from the sack and gets sacked on the play. Third and 17, big stop for this Wake Forest defense. Drops at the throw, throws left side, and is broken up by Noel. So on first and 10, that brings out Wake Forest again. Spread off, uh, spread shotgun, excuse me. And Terry gets the first down reception. Second and 12, sets up the screen left side. Harris with the with the catch. Harris got a block. Harris up the sideline and gain of 21. So first and 10, Harris takes a counter and breaks the tackle, goes up and gains six yards. Third and six, Price drops up, third throws right and gets deflected, bringing up a fourth down. And Raglan up for the kick, or excuse me, Headland up for the kick, and that is in for the end zone. So Maryland might be taking an early upset for the Clemson at 7 nothing in the first quarter. So the kickoff to Johnson. Johnson takes up the middle, got some room, and finally taken down at the 40. Gain of 37. So on second and 10, shotgun formation. Moore drops back the throw, throws over the middle, hits his man Wells for a six yard gain. Third and four. Miami sets up the screen, but Moore's just under pressure, overthrows it to the sideline, bringing up another offensive possession for your Demon Deacons. So Harris takes the handoff, gain of four yards. Trips left, bunch. Second six, Price drops out the throw, throws left, and hits his tight end, Anthony Rook, for a first down reception. Price not liking what he sees, calls an audible, first and ten, throws left, and intercepted by Arm Brister, and he's got some room. He is going to take it back to the 20-yard line 
first interception of the game for Tanner Price, and he has been ridiculed for his interceptions. So on second and ten, Duke Johnson sets up the screen and finally forced out of bounds by Redding. Third and 14, more straws back throw, five-yard gain, and a fourth and nine. Miami elects to take the field goal as well, tying the game up. So first and 10, Price drops back to throw. Got some, no one open, and he's taking the sack, and that's going to be it for the first quarter. What an exciting gameplay. 3-3, three, three, tight game. Wake Forest, Miami. Let's get ready for this second quarter action. We're going to open the second quarter with two seconds and 19. Trips left. Price drops back to throw. Throws the right side to Campanar, who just gets enough separation from his man. On third and eight, I formation. Looks like Coach Williams is just going to play it safe and go left and gain a one yard. So after the punt, Miami takes the ball on the 20. First and 10, Morse drops back to throw. Hits Walford on the right side, who gains 21 yards. So first and 10, shotgun formation. Johnson offsets left side, gets the ball, breaks the tackle, and gains five tough yards. So second and five. Screen set up left side for Dorset. Dorset breaks the tackle, and Dorset gains eight yards, another first down. So bunch set left, ace formation. Morse drops back, throw, throws right, hits Harris, who gains about, or excuse me, Hearns, who gains about 30 yards. So second and 10, full back in motion, play action. Gets hit as he throws, and Scott grabs the ball for a 12-yard gain. So in the red zone, first and 10, 10 yard line. Morris drops back to throw, sets up the screen left side for Duke Johnson. Duke gets hit hard by Noel. So third and 11, Morris drops back to throw, has some time and finally taken down on the play, sack of seven yards by who else? That makes it <laughs> Sorry about that guys. Um, we have, it looks like, no it's not Whitlock, it's, it's Redding? Redding gets in there? So in 4th and 17, Miami elects to take the field goal. And the kick is up. And good. And that is the first lead change of the ball game. We have Miami going up 6-3. And let's take a look at the Clemson-Maryland game where Maryland is up 14-7. And as this defense looks... They are getting after this Wake Forest Demon Deacon offense. Three sacks, one interception, and first and ten play action. Price throws left to Martin. Martin gains nine yards. So on second and one, spread shotgun formation. Harris offsets the right side. Price drops back. Throws left, hits James, who's wide open in the flats, and gains seven yards for a first down. First and ten again, shotgun formation. Tight end set right. Price drops back a throw. Got some time, but finally runs out of it. Sack for 11 yard. Following sack, second 21. Two back set. Triple option. Price pitches out to Harris. Harris has got some blocking. Great blocking on the outside for Campanari, but barely taken down by the cornerback. So first and ten trip or bunch right and Rook gets the reception, breaks the tackle, finally taking down a 25 yard gain. First and ten, shotgun formation, Harris offsets left side and the draw and nothing going tackle for a loss and looks like Harris is going to be hurt on the play. He was taken down hard by the defensive end and that means that he might be questionable coming back so we're going to have to keep an eye on that. But second and 12 after the Harris is hurt and Price throws right into the reception, er, right into the hands of the cornerback. And he's got some room to make it back to the 25. And he's just dislocated his shoulder. And that's going to be it for the day for Harris. Uh, Coach Williams elects to just sit him out the rest of the game and bring in Martin to take over that role. So first and 10, two tight ends set, ace formation. Morris drops back, throw, throws left, and just overthrows the receiver. And But that's okay because this defense is going to give him some more yardage, and they're going to call Redding for the roughing the passer. So first and goal, 
Morse throw, uh, uh, excuse me, Morse pitches the Duke, and Duke is taken down for a loss. Second and goal. Two tight ends set, tight end in motion. Morse drops back to throw. He's got some room. He's scrambling, and he's going to break a tackle, but he fumbles in the end zone. It's going to be recovered by Noel, and that's going to give Wake Forest the ball back after giving up the interception. Wake Forest defense holds strong in the red zone and gets back the ball for a turnover. First and 10, Harris drops back to throw, hits his man Rook up the middle. And with 30 seconds left to go, it's going to be first and 10 again. Rice drops back to throw, throws the right side again, hooking up with his tight end Rook for another first down. First and 10, two back set. Shotgun formation, Price drops back to throw, and he's going to be sacked on the play. Force and wait for us to take a timeout. Loss of eight yards, and Artie Burns is going to get in there. And this coach, Coach Williams, is trying to get his offense talked up, trying to get a couple plays in mind. So play action. Price rolls out after the pocket's flush and throws and thinks he's got a man, but intercepted again by Arbrister, who's having a great game on the day. So with five seconds left to go, trips right. Second and three, Morse is going to drop back and get sacked on the play by Red, or excuse me, by uh, Ramsey, or my goodness, I'm having this sort of problem, uh, by our Nickelback. So we're going in the half, Miami up three, or six to three against Wake Forest, Demon Deacons, and let's take a look at this halftime experience brought to you by Nissan. going to be highlighted first by none of the, this Miami defense who's given this Wake Forest offense all sorts of trouble but this is a defensive struggle all game both defenses playing well against these offenses who are high exploding but let's take a look at the stats on the game as you can see the sacks on the day passing yards 160 to Miami's 91 rushing yards have not been any kind of problem negative two for weight force and negative 12 for we started the second half looking at offenses uh three points for weight force 28 plays 158 yards whereas miami has 24 plays and 79 yards so you would think the score might be a little different but it's not so on second and 10 five wide morris connects with scott for first down first and 10 weak eye formation fullback in motion first and 10 Duke Johnson gets the ball left side, doesn't know where to go, and gains five yards, but stops for some reason away from um, Ramsey, or excuse me, Marshall. So on second and four, Duke runs left and gets hurt on the play. We'll have to see his condition later on. Third and one, shotgun set, Walford in motion. Morris drops back, throws right, hits Dorsett, and Dorsett's giving us a little bit of a fit on defense, coming in with not many yards per reception, but getting the first downs when needed, and as we speak, we speak too soon, Dorsett's cutting across the middle and gets 30 yards on that play. First and 10, two, uh, two tight ends set, ace formation, Morris drops back to throw, got some time, rolls out, gets out of the pocket, hits his man left side, and gain of looks like 12 so from the one yard line goal line set or excuse me eye formation set Clements to the left side gets into the end zone making this a 10 point game and as we look there Maryland still holding the lead by three points 24 21 over Clemson so second and 10 Wake Forest takes Wake Forest offense takes the ball again play action price drops back throw Throws left and hits his man Terry on the left side, gain of 24. And on second and seven, Harris offsets left side. Rook on the right, shotgun formation. Harris takes the counter, takes it left side, gets it open, gets a block on the outside. Terry, great block, and excuse me, Martin. And touchdown, Demon Deacons. Martin just takes what he can get. And let's take a look, overlook on this play from the top screen camera. As you see there, Martin is ecstatic to get his team on the board again. And as you see there, great block on the left side. Great blocking by Terry. And Martin just takes it up and does what he does best on the end of the play and finishes the drive. So on first and ten, I formation. 
two wide receivers all set to the right side, and Clements gets tackled a loss of one by who else? Joshua Jackson. Second 11, wide receiver in motion. Clements all sets left side. Morris drops back, throw, throws left, hits Clements on the screen, and he goes nowhere on, or excuse me, middle mole game of four yards. Morris drops back, throws over the middle, hits Scott, but nowhere on the first down. He has stopped one yard shy, so that brings up a punt, and Wake Forest has a chance to either tie or take the lead in the game. So Price, play action, Price rolls right, sees nothing, and is taken down for a loss of seven. That is the fourth sack on the day. So on second and 17, a two tight end set. Martin takes a handoff, gets blocked on the left side, and gains five yards. So third and 12, five wide set. Price drops back to throw. Got some time and throws over the middle, hit Idzik for a first down 21 yard gain. First and 10, read option, handoff to Martin. Martin's got some blocks. Takes it up the middle for a 10-yard gain. Another first down. Ace formation, two tight end set. Price drops back, gets away from a would-be tackle, and takes the ball, runs, fumbles, and recovered by Rook. That would have been a costly fumble. Third and five, bunch set right. Price drops back over the middle. Rook again for a 17-yard gain. Second and 10, shotgun formation. Martin on the right. Hands off to Martin for a draw and nothing going tackle for a loss. This front seven's been a monster against this offense. And there we have it. We're taking it into the fourth quarter. Miami up 13 to Wake Forest is 10. Let's see how this game will pan out. We start the fourth quarter on third and 12 for Wake Forest. Campanara in motion. Takes the handoff, sweep left, and taking out hard for no gain. Stopped in his tracks by this Miami defense. So Coach Mike Williams elects to take the field goal to tie it up. Kick is up by Headland, and the kick is good. Tied ball game. So first and 10. Five wide set for Morris. Morris drops back. He's got some time. Take it down for a loss. This defense is still getting after the quarterback. Second and 18. Nickel coverage against this three wide set. Screen right for Clements. Clements is just tackled by a gang of defenders. And that's going to bring up third and 18. All set right with Clements. Clements drops back. Or excuse me, Morse drops back for Clements for a screen. And Clements just gets a two-yard game, minimal game. And that's going to bring up the Wake Forest offense after the punt. So first and 10. Rook in motion. Ace formation, two tight ends set. Price with the pitch to Harris. Harris just going to follow his uh, blockers for a five-yard gain. So on third and nine, three, three wide receiver set. Tight end on the right side. Price drops back, throw, throws right, and hits Arbitrary for his third interception, fifth on the day for, or excuse me, fourth on the day for Price. So on third and nine, let's go and bring out shotgun formation. Tight end on the right. In motion, resets left. Clements on the left. Morris drops back. Got some opening. And he's just going to throw over the middle and batted down by Allen. So second and ten. Wake Forest gets the ball. Gets five yards. Take what they can get. Third and five. Five wide set. Trips right. Price drops back. Hits Raglan, who's wide open. On the right side for a first down. First and 10 shotgun set. Trip bunch right. And hits James over the right side who gets out of bounds. So a little under two minutes left to go in this ball game. Second and 11. Price with the handoff to Harris. Harris just going to take what he can get for two yards. Third and nine. So on third and nine we have one wide receiver set. Play action from Price. Price throws left and fifth interception on the game. Are you kidding me? Price is just not having a good day today, and he is intercepted with a minute 20 left on the clock. So first and 10. Morse drops back third five wide and throws left and broken by Noel, who's having a good game. He has a fumble recovery already on the day. Second and 10. Morse drops back to throw. Stands in the pocket, throws left, and hits Scott wide past 
the defender's 55-yard gain. So it brings up him in the red zone. 40 seconds left. Clements just gets some blocks. Defense just tired on the game now. They've been on the field for a while, and Clements just going to take the blocks that he can get and get into the end zone with the go-ahead touchdown. So with about 30 seconds left on the clock, this Wake Forest offense is going to try to score and tie up the game. Second and 10, five wide set. Price drops back throw. Got some pressure. Throws right. Hits Terry. Terry's got away from his man. And Terry's going to be taken down finally with 17 seconds left on the clock. First and 10. 10 seconds left. Terry gets away from him again. Two big receptions by Brandon Terry. Tie up the game within 30 seconds. So with nine seconds left on the clock, we're just going to kick the ball high in the air and they're going to get decent field position around the 35 four seconds left nothing but the Hail Mary coming up Morris drops back fires as hard as he can and intercepted by Stevenson who's going to get tackled immediately that's it guys looks like four quarters is not going to be enough for the Wake Forest Miami game so we're going to take it off with the first overtime and DeAndre Martin gets the handoff for five yards trips left shotgun formation price with the fake read option keeps it for a gain of four yards so in pistol formation third and one price hands off the martin and mark or excuse me harrison harris gonna fight through for five yards shotgun formation trip bunch right price drops back throw sets up a screen but not gonna get away sack of 11 yards and this Front seven's been giving this Wake Forest uh, offensive line trouble all day. So on third and 21, Price drops back to throw. Throws right, hits Campanaro for a big gain, gain of 20, but is stopped on the one yard line, and Williams decides to take his offense out. Goal line situation, and Harris is going to be stopped on the play. No gain, and it's going to be a turnover for Miami. As you see there, Harris just gets behind his blockers who did not get the surge needed to get in the end zone. Williams thought he was going to be able to come out with the big offensive line set and get in the end zone, and it's not going to happen. So on second and six, four wide, Morris drops back to throw, throws over the middle, and hits his wide receiver for a first down gain of seven yards. First and ten shotgun formation, Morris drops back to throw. Throws over the middle again and hits Walford, who almost gets in the end zone. 12-yard gain, and it's going to set up a weak eye formation. Tight end in motion. First and goal. Morris drops back, throws, and has a wide open man, but just doesn't have the time to get out. So, two tight ends set. Handoff for Clements. Clements breaks a tackle, and it's going to be in. That's going to be it for the game, guys. As you see here, Clements gets hit in the backfield and breaks off a tackle. Allen just doesn't get enough on him, and that's going to be it. Great game, but unfortunately, Wake Force is going to come out with the loss, and Arm Brister is going to be the player of the game. Three tackles, one for a loss, one forced fumble, three interceptions, and no one else deserves it more than he does. And guys, I am sorry to say, uh, Coach Williams just thought he would be able to pull away. Uh, he took the gamble. I mean, on the one-yard line, you really cannot fault him there. I mean, uh, there's just nothing to be said. This offensive line needed to push. They didn't get it. Miami's front seven, front and eight um, held in tight on that goal line and just pushed back and got the stop to win the ball game. As you see here, here are the highlights of the game. And let's take a look at the stats of the game for Wake Forest. So as we take a look, we start off with Tanner Price. It was 22 of 35, 360 yards, one touchdown, and the five interceptions and seven sacks are going to be the big talk about. And Harris, 57 yards on 13 rushes. Um, Martin came in and did 15 for five. Uh, the big story of the day, Terry, for seven interceptions, 123 yards and one touchdown. Rook, five receptions, 96 yards. And Campanara, three for 29. Raglan came in made two big receptions for 41 yards. And James even got in the mix for two for 20. As you can see here, six sacks, excuse me, given up today. 
Um, biggest was against the left tackle. He gave up three. Olsen, seven. Jackson, six tackles. Uh, Olsen with two tackles for a loss along with Ramsey. Thompson, Whitlock, and James all with one. Stevenson had the lone interception on the day. And as you see here, here are the uh, stats of the day. Uh, rushing yards 11 to Wake Forest is 70. 246 to Wake Forest is 360. But the biggest thing there is the five turnovers for Wake Forest. Brandon Terry being the player, offensive player of the game. Seven receptions, 123 yards. And Allen Ramsey being the player of the game for three tackles, two for a loss, and two sacks on the day. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh this tough game leave a like if you did comment if you want to subscribe if you haven't also check out next week when we go to syracuse to take on uh the number 21 ranked team in the nation for some more acc play i'll see you next week